Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to part four of our series of uh, Sid Meier's Gettysburg, the 1997 classic, uh, which I assume a lot of you have played a lot of. Uh, it's sort of this old-timey game that is one of the best war games of all time. Of the Civil War games I've ever played, it seems to have some of the best polish and sort of set pieces uh, in terms of sort of intros, outros, videos, those kind of things. One of my favorite games of all time. This is part four of a series where we're playing through the battle as the Union. Uh, we have fought three battles so far. We have lost two. We have won one. But that last battle was a decisive victory. So the first three fights all took place on July 1st. The first engagement was on McPherson's Hill where we were pushed back narrowly just barely uh, being driven off the hill by the Confederates under Hill. We then fought the Battle of Seminary Ridge, uh, where the Confederates more easily trounced us and pushed us back. But that led to a early and sort of quasi-historical attack on Cemetery Hill. Uh, the Confederates under Ewell's Corps came up and attacked Cemetery Hill. In support, Hill uh, provided some troops as well. And this was, again, sort of an early failure. There was no flanking attack north of the town of Gettysburg. Instead, uh, Ewell arrived and attacked immediately on Cemetery Hill and Culp's Hill. We were able to hold our ground and win decisively on Cemetery Hill, holding the defensive position, turning the defeats of the, the beginning of the day on their head, and winning decisively so that, uh, according to the game anyway, we won the battle on July 1st, or at least we did not lose it. This means that we're going to see at least a, a fairly historical July 2nd. This game has a dynamic campaign where your defeats and victories in your prior battles influence where you fight in your follow-on battles, as well as there being follow-on ca carryover casualties. Um, but with that victory here, it looks like we're jumping right into having General Warren and General Meade uh, discuss the left flank. So I assume we're going to fight, if not the historical battle, of uh, Little Round Top, something that's pretty similar to it. Uh, they have variants and historical scenarios, and I'm assuming we're, we're roughly back on track. Uh, with that being said, this was taken from a live stream from a couple of days ago, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to my live stream myself, and we'll go ahead and fight the battle for Little Round Top. Uh, and uh, let's jump back in with the scenario briefing. All right, so we're back to the historical. ...going on in the direction of that hill off yonder. I wish that you would ride over and, if anything serious is going on, attend to it. What's the name of that hill? I believe it is called Little Round Top, General. If the enemy get their guns up there, they could pour down a murderous fire upon our entire line. It appears General Sickles has advanced his corps away from the hill toward the peach orchard. Buford's cavalry was covering the flank, but I think he's pulled back to a fifth. Look there. See the glint of bayonets as our artillery fires overhead? The Rebs are forming to attack. Move quickly, Warren. We must hold that round top hill at all costs. I'll send the Fifth Corps to help out. You must hold this location at the end of the battle. This is your best brigade. There'll be some more artillery arriving soon. Hurrah! All right, so it is... Uh, the historical battle uh, for Devil's Den and Little Round Top. Got Warren coming up, the superb Corps commander. He's actually the chief engineer in the Army, chief topographical engineer or something like that. Um, pull this artillery back. Let's move these sharpshooters forward. I'm actually going to form them into a line. The Trobaron. We're going to pull this artillery back to Little Round Top to hold it. I don't think artillery is going to help me much in Devil's Den. Trying to get the sharpshooters to the edge of the uh, wood line here. So that the enemy is going to be open and they're going to be in good ground. Alright, so first U.S. sharpshooters forming into line. Hopefully they'll delay the Rebs enough. Where are the troops coming up? The Troberon's troops over here, you've got this weird little weird little flag here. You can see it's like grayed out, which means you can ask for them to join your line, but you have to pay victory points to do it. I think eventually they'll be added to my command. Where were those reinforcements? Hmm. Maybe they were the troops that we were just talking about. 
So we're going to move these guns up that way. The enemy's going to flank the Devil's Den, but hopefully that takes him some time. There we go. Vincent's Brigade. Here comes Vincent. Forming a battle line on Little Round Top. I don't know if the 20th Main will be on the flank or not. We'll find out. But we're actually going to move them in maneuver so they can get there as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, these guys are all fighting over here, hopefully trying to delay the Rebs enough. But they can't get to Little Round Top. The artillery on top of Little Round Top should also help. So the first U.S. sharpshooters, crack troops, burdens troops. They're drawing Lane's Brigade north. I think that's Lane's Brigade toward the Devil's Den. You can see here, this is, these are elements of Sickle's Corps. The rest of his troops up in the Peach Orchard up here aren't part of this battle. Vincent's troops are marching down in column formation. I'm not moving them on the double. I don't want them to get penalized more than necessary. First U.S. sharpshooters still hanging there in the flank amongst the boulders. They're getting pushed back. Go ahead and hang in there, 4th Main. Meanwhile, the artillery is up on top of the hill now. They just need to form up. I don't know what line of sight is. What did I just do? Well, Warren can't issue orders to those troops anyway. Um, here's line of sight. Okay, so we click on this artillery unit. I can't click on them! Zoom. There we go. What's their line of sight? Not very good. Um, let's move these guns forward a little bit. Maybe they'll have a little bit better line of sight on the front of the hill. Warren's line of sight. Still not very good. Alright. Um, you can tell, by the way, with that line of sight button, which is kind of neat, it will show you uh, the gray is obviously areas you can't see, the green are areas of the map that you can see from that commander's vantage point. So the sharpshooters are falling back on Little Round Top. New enemy officer spotted near Snyder's place over here. They're going to go around and try and go after Little Round Top. Devil's Den's less important. Really, these troops are just kind of fighting a delaying action. It's only worth five victory points. Sir, reinforcements are coming up. Kelly's Brigade is arriving near the Rose Wheat Field. Uh, it's another brigade that we have to purchase to actually use. So you can see here, 200 victory points lets them use this. We're going to do our best without them. Uh, I believe they'll eventually be released. You can see uh, De Troberon's force will be available shortly. They're only 100 victory points now, so they've gone from 200 to 100. We'll go ahead and form uh, Vincent's brigade up here on Little Round Top. Better it's our approaching Devil's Den. I don't really care. I mean, I'd like to hold Devil's Den, but we're not going to, so... Um, it's more about buying time. The Troberon's Brigade has been activated. I believe also if they're engaged heavily, it will cause them to activate quick, more quickly. Move him down the line. He's an experienced Brigade Commander, so he's actually pretty good. Some of the troops on the flank there are being routed. Ward's brigade is in trouble. But again, it's in my opinion, it's more about buying time than it is anything else. Alright, so 20th Main is on the far extent of the line. Warren should really be rallying troops. Twenty-fourth New York will move here. Sir, we'll get it back. I don't think there's any other objectives other than Little Round Top in this scenario. More of Ward's troops. His whole line's being rolled up, really. Sir, reinforcements are coming up.
Again, the more troops that they pull away from Little Round Top, the better. As Litz Battery's coming in here, they'll unlimber on Little Round Top. We'll have two batteries of artillery up here. Zooming out. I think Warren wants to get a little bit further away from the front line. He's rallying troops. First sharpshooters will move you over to the flank. Actually, the first sharpshooters, and not the not the 20th Maine, will be on the far flank. Cross's brigade is arriving near the wheat field. Also another brigade that you've got to pay points to activate. We could launch a counterattack in here with these troops into the Devil's Den. Just not interested really in doing that. Not yet, anyway. If it gets desperate and we need to come in behind these troops that are going to be attacking the little round top, we'll do it. Alright, so you can see Law's Brigade's forming up for an attack on Little Round Top. Looks like another brigade's also going to go in that way on the other flank. So, we may be in trouble up here soon. The sharpshooters are recovering a bit. Don't want to pay 200 victory points, but I think I'm going to. Cross will be activated. We're going to swing him in to try and hit the troops that are going to be attacking uh, the f little round top in the flank. Oh, shit. Alright, I don't want him to do that. All right, so Cross is... Damn it. That's Ward in. All right, so these guys are, are hitting this one lone Confederate regiment. There you go. Drove it back. So Cross is going to come in on the flank to try and help Little Round Top. First sharpshooters have been pushed back. Exposed shit. It worked a whole brigade around our flank. God damn it. The, this position, the positions in these scenarios are very difficult to hold. My, my only hope, really, it feels like at this point, is having Cross come in behind these guys, flanking and coming up, and, and hopefully rallying these guys. Maybe the first sharpshooters can kind of ex hit them in the flank a bit there. Got a half an hour left. 20th Main is retreating. Go ahead and halt them right there. We're going to hold them. The enemy is approaching Little Round Top. We're going to have to give all these troops the, the Chamberlain hold to the last speech. Weed's Brigade is coming up. Should be coming in here somewhere. Oh shit, but I've got to pay points to get them? We're not going to hold a half an hour without losing some of this objective. Why do they only have 90 men in that regiment? So 
17 main Michigan troops. Good. What are we doing right now, casualty wise? What's the score? They're approaching Little Round Top. All right, these guys are running into position. We're going to charge them up the rear of Little Round Top here. We got him flanked. All right, Smith, unlumber your battery. Get into the fight. Twentieth main is flanked. They're in a rough spot here. We've got to try and come to their aid. Kelly's brigade's been activated, so Kelly's brigade just came in into the fight. Maybe we can make a play to advance on, on the Devil's Den, maybe. We really need to retake Little... I mean, we haven't lost Little Round Top, but we have to hold Little Round Top. They're not taking fire, though, so if we can move these guys in closer to have more effective fire on the Confederates. Why, aren't you, why are you taking flank fire? Why don't you turn your line? No, face the fire that's hitting you in the flank. God. All right. We've retaken the little round top. Maybe we can come in around them with the 17th. Oh, God, there's all this artillery. Oh, God, oh, God. And, and there's infantry over there, too. Shit. Well, 17th main's not doing anything. So, I assume most of those retreating troops are not fighting on Little Round Top. Alright, you guys are going to charge through the 20th main. There's some fighting going on at the head. A little round top. Hazlitt's battery, Winslow's battery, all firing in support to try and hold the little round top. 155th Pennsylvania of Weed's brigades charging through here, trying to melee their way through the line. Alright, I can't break them via charge. At least stick in there and give the 20th main a little bit of a break. Firing at very close range. Five minutes left. How the troops around the wheat field doing? Where are we at score wise? We're winning by 700. We've spent 500 of our victory points buying two brigades. Lost less than the Confederates, so that's good. I think at worst case this will be like a draw, but again, holding Little Round Top is key. See, they're facing this way, but the arrow says they're shooting this way. That's the f confusing thing to me. 
All right, we're at five minutes. This is about to end any minute. Did have to bring Weed's Brigade in in desperation here to save the day. But at least, I think, at least it'll prevent us from losing Little Round Top. A marginal Union victory. There you go. We held on by the skin of our teeth and win a marginal victory. T um, about 2,000 casualties. The enemy lost about 2,000 as well. A little bit more than us. Uh, we did spend some points activating some brigades. Okay, fine. Um, if we had kept those brigades out, we probably would have won a tactical victory, but uh, we probably wouldn't have won at all because Weed's Brigade saved Little Round Top there. Uh, variant Little Round Top. Continue. So there you go. Whoops. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for part four of our look at Sid Meier's Gettysburg. Uh, again, taken from a live stream from a few days ago. We've won our second consecutive victory. This one was, again, by the skin of our teeth. We lost Devil's Den, as we were supposed to, historically anyway. But we were able to hang on to Little Round Top. The 20th Maine was not the hero so much as Weed's Brigade was. Uh, we called them in, uh, had them charge up the back of the hill, and they came in just in time to save Vincent's Brigade, which... Uh, uh, fought valiantly as well. But at the end of the day, the Union hangs on to Little Round Top, so the left flank stays solid as it was historically. Uh, we lose the front position up near Devil's Den, but again, hang on to Little Round Top by the skin of our teeth. I assume, I'm not 100% sure, but I assume the next fight will be the uh, fight in and around the Peach Orchard and the Wheat Field with uh, General Sickles' Third Corps, uh, but that will be a video for another time. Uh, until that time, however, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again thank you for watching, and until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying I'm out.